A majority of new electrical generation added to the U.S. grid last year came from renewable sources. The U.S. Energy Information Administration ed estimates that 60% of all utility-scale generation capacity additions for the year were from wind and solar resources. And for the first time, that includes new solar farms in Oklahoma. At 18 locations, from Woodward to Kayamichi, there are new solar farms in Oklahoma. Four of the farms are large utility-grade facilities, the biggest in Cyril, generating 5 megawatts of power from 20,000 solar panels. Tuttle is next at 4 megawatts from 16,000 panels, and three more sites, Hinton, Marietta, and Pine Ridge, each generating 3 megawatts with 12,000 panels each. The sites were created by Western Farmers Electric Cooperative, the primary supplier of electrical energy to small co-ops across the state. At peak load, the company generates around 2,000 megawatts of electrical energy. Increasingly, alternative or renewable sources of power are adding to the mix of generation sources. Over 600 megawatts of wind energy in our uh, resource mix in our portfolio. Brian Hobbs is Vice President of Legal and Corporate Services at Western Farmers Electric Cooperative. He says wind has been a part of Western Farmers' generation mix for over a decade. And now there's this new element to the portfolio. We actually will go from zero solar in our generation mix to about 50 megawatts uh, here in, in literally the next few weeks. In Tuttle, as with other sites, the solar farm is located next to the Western Farmers substation, so getting the electricity into the grid does not involve new transmission lines. Adding to what the new solar farms produce, Western Farmers gets around 23 megawatts of solar energy from a solar farm in New Mexico. But Western Farmers took the idea to something very new, the creation of solar gardens at 13 sites across the state. These are relatively small, typically less than a quarter of a megawatt, in fact, 250 kilowatts. And we're, we're locating those around the state at a distribution co-op service territory. Preston O'Brien is Chief Financial Officer at Oklahoma Electric Cooperative in Norman. The Solar Garden is in North Norman, where I-35 and Highway 77 meet. There are just under a thousand solar panels on the site, which went online just after the first of the year. Western Farmers left it up to each local co-op on how to market the new solar gardens. The option that we have chosen uh, for a variety of reasons is to uh, take the all of the, the output that this solar facility produces and just widely distribute it to our membership. O'Brien says that worked best for their co-op because they cover such a large area. For co-ops in smaller areas, subscription plans are being used to buy the rights to the power that comes from one of the panels. For now, OEC wants to, like Western farmers, gather data to see how well this solar garden performs. Long term for the future, uh, as solar, the prices of solar come down, we will continue to not only utilize solar, but all the other renewable energy sources that, that are out there. John Tolan is the principal resource planning engineer for Western Farmers. All 18 of these solar projects are his babies. These sites were designed for 105 mile an hour winds. Uh, hope you know darn well we can have 105 mile an hour winds with tornadoes. Each facility has its own weather station, so it's gathering local weather data 24 hours a day. If severe weather approaches at the big utility-grade farms, there is a safety position the panels can go into. These panels will go to a stow position when the wind gets up so high so that they uh, do not blow around. The Tuttle Farm is a single access tracker. It follows the path of the sun from sunup to sundown. Each section of panels are connected in series to boost their power and feed energy into a collector box. From there, the electricity flows to an inverter where it is converted from DC to AC and then into the substation where the wattage is stepped up to match the power that's flowing through the main distribution line. John Tolan says the mix of energy generation is increasingly leaning toward renewables. 600 megawatts of wind, we're fixing to have 50 megawatts of solar, We've got 275 uh, megawatts of 
uh, hydropower. All of these add in, uh, but you still have to have the coal power, the gas power, uh, to be able to back that up. The Tuttle Solar Farm cost $8 million to build. The power it generates is about twice as expensive as that coming from a natural gas plant. But as technology improves, not only will the solar panels become less expensive and more efficient, but someday scientists will discover the holy grail of renewable power, efficient and low-cost battery storage. It would greatly facilitate renewable energy, intermittent type resources like wind and solar. Um, if you can do that in an economical way. Western Farmers expects to have all of the solar farms and solar gardens operating and feeding their distribution network by next month. Last year, Oklahoma was ranked seventh in the nation as best suited to generate solar power. But in actual generation, we are ranked 45th, a number that is going to change.